All right, y'all, now check it out. Now, a lot of people is looking at this fight as a 50-50 fight, you know, but only time can tell. Only time can tell. We have to wait to see because if Archer better be of going to go into this ring and get a quick knockout, you know, or just beat up Beaver bad, <laughs> that's not a 50-50 fight, you know. But I think people is looking at this, even I'm I'm looking at it as a 50-50 fight, but I think people is looking at this fight as a 50-50 fight because of um, you know, Archer Better BF, his power, you know, he's been stopping everybody in this what 19, 20 fights, something like that. He just stopped everybody 100 percent ratio. Um he's very intelligent in the rings, you know, high IQ, um power in both hands, you know. Um he know how to box, he know how to box, um Great inside boxer, better inside boxer than he is an outside boxer, you know, because he throw those sh short, sharp, powerful punches, you know. He'll throw them to the head, you know, just tapping, pop, pop to the body, and them things be hurting. Those things be hurting. Then you got Bevo, you know, also with a high ring IQ, you know, he know how to keep his distance. He'll launch the one, two, people will fight you all day on the outside with the, with just the one, two, you know, moving around, pivoting around, um, moving backwards and just letting you run into the one, two, you know, like he did Canelo Alvarez. So it definitely, you know, looking like a 50-50 fight, but like I said, only time can tell because if Archer better be up going here and, and do him dirty, get a quick knockout, or just beat him up all night, you know, that's not a 50-50 fight. But only time can tell. We just going off our, you know, predictions. We going off what we saw in these fighters, you know, their previous fights. You know, I think it's a 50-50 fight. Um, I don't think Beagle just going to lay it down like that. But – I done seen Bevo get cracked a lot, you know, get that head popped back a lot. And to me, you know, he kind of seemed like he's a little chinny. He's a little chinny. So he's going to have to fight, though. He's going to have to fight Archer because Archer just not going to let him, you know, move around him and outbox him all night. So he, he got to come forward and apply the pressure. He got to cut the ring off, you know, and walk this guy down. He going to have to do that. He can't just let this, he just can't let Beevil steal all the rounds. You know, if he go in here trying to box Beevil, it's a possibility Beevil can win, you know, on the points. And that's exactly what Beevil planning on doing. He's going to try to outbox the guy and, you know, and um take advantage of Archer better, Archer better be of, knee injury, which, you know, his knee is fine, but Beaver believe that that's an advantage, you know, he believed that Archer going to be a little bit slow on his feet, you know, so it's going to be, it's, <laughs> you know, it's a hard one, y'all, it's a hard one to pick, to predict who's going to win the fight, you know. But I'm going to give y'all my prediction. You know, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all who's been listening to my videos about Archer and, and Beaver, y'all probably already know who's who I'm going with. Now, I've been having both of these guys in my top five for a while now. You know, top five boxer in the world for a while now. Maybe the last, um, maybe the last two, three years. I know it was like, you know, I would say after um, Beaver beat Canelo, when Beaver beat Canelo, I put him in the top five. And I had um, Archer Better BF ranked, you know, over Beaver. If y'all remember, I used to put up my um, my pound for pound list. So I had both of these guys, and I still do got these guys in my um, top five, y'all. But 
I'm going to stick. I'm going to stick with my guns. And I'm going to still roll with Archer Better BF to beat Beevil. You know, long as he going here. And mad dog this dude. <laughs> we got to go here and mad dog this dude, man. We ain't going in here to box. We're going in here. We're going in here to hurt you. To knock you out, man. And we ain't finna let this guy just win all the rounds. He can't do that. Can't do that. If we got to step to him, we going to step to him, you know, so... I hope that's in Archer Better BF plans, you know, like I'm not finna let this guy just outbox me and, and just be banging across my head with the one twos all night moving around and, you know, moving around the ring. I'm going to step, I'm going to step up to this guy. I'm going to step, you know, bring the pressure on him, you know, and go after this guy, you know, and um, stay in range so he can land his shots. So Archer Better BF is who I'm rolling with. I think he's gonna um I think he's gonna um stop Beevil. I'm I'm going with the stoppage. I'm going with the stoppage or the knockout. I'm going with the stoppage or the knockout, you know. But I can't believe that they got Archer Better BF the underdog. You know, he's the underdog. Now, a couple of months ago or something like that, maybe a month or so ago, I'm looking on these sites. These betting sites, right? And they had Beevil the underdog. So they switched it. You know, now Archer the underdog, you can win more money on him. The odds is higher on him. The odds is, you know, pretty good on him. And you got Beevil, the favorite. So that's letting me know a lot of people think Beevil is going to win this fight. You know, it's a lot of people out there. I think Beevil is going to win this fight. And it's good on our end, y'all. If you're going with Archer, you know, um, you can win good money on him, right? But what's bad on our end, what's bad is dealing with the politics. It's dealing with the politics, you know. So Archer can't let this guy, you know, just get off on him. Win all the rounds, you know, um, beat him on points. He got to come in there thinking that I got to stop this guy. He have to stop Beevil to win, y'all, the way I'm looking at it. He got to stop Beevil to win because Beevil is going to try to outbox him. Beevil is going to most likely land more punches if he can keep, you know, his distance and um, stay on the outside. He's going to try to he's going to try to land more punches and constantly move around constantly move around you know so i can't believe it i can't believe it you you this guy is going against a knockout artist and he's the favorite he's the favorite so something 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 ain't right about that it ain't right about that so um i'm gonna um still roll with archer better bf i'm gonna put um a bet down on him i'm gonna probably bet twice i'm gonna probably bet you know, probably bet, um, I'm going to just bet that he win the fight. And I'm going to probably bet that he get like a TKO stoppage or a knockout, you know. And the odds is pretty good on Archer Better BF getting a TKO stoppage or a knockout. So they don't even think that, they don't even think Archer is going to stop him.